Kubor Nagashlem to Udongsan Hima. U Medical Superintendent U Professor Dr. C. Daniela Habakren Hagabede Bat Kajakasumar and Negrims Hagasni Jurip Chong MP Kashlong Parliamentary Constituency U Dr. Ricky A.J. Sinkon Ulaong Pagajing Duna and Negrims Kitang Boon Bat Kajing E. Badru Hagabede Bat Kinong Tre Kibaki Ekendo Shishu Ulaong Bakajing Wan Chong MP Ban Ekendo Mark Mat Kandai ke senjam ke babiang eh kumsi bentar ban ai ke jingi trailang ban kampen bahasa syu ia kena ke jaka ajing sumar ulo ong mana kali yang kinong tray bat ke association kira yok ban pensengau ia ke jing eh ke baki ia kenduk bat ban wad ru iki lat ke nanti kumdu ban weng di kini ke jing eh hapo kata ke jaka ajing sumar No, after uh, Dr. Ricky Sinkon has become MP this is the first time that he has come and uh, you know visited us officially and he visited Uh, he has wanted to meet all representatives of different uh, uh, people of the healthcare sectors in the institution, the faculty group, resident doctors, and the nursing uh, uh, groups, and various workers of the institutions. And he has a long uh, conversation with the demands. Uh, made by all different sections of the healthcare workers in the institute, like uh, faculty doctors, resident doctors, and even a nursing. So the uh, the problem faced by the institutions, and for better, so that we can serve the people of the northeast and make, especially Meghalaya better. So these are the things has been uh, put forward to the honourable MP of Shillong, uh, Dr. Ricky Sinkon, and he has spent a lot of time here. He visited uh, some wards. He visited the patients and different segments of the. He actually wanted to know at first hand information on what uh, Negrims is all about, and so that he will have a, a clear cut ideas what to represent the people of Meghalaya, especially in, in terms of healthcare facilities available in uh, the state. So the difficulties faced by the patients and how to improve them. So he has patiently. Um, you know, listen to all the uh, <coughs> all the points put forward by different group of people in the in the institutions, and uh, he has, with the permission of our director Negrims, so the di- director was also there during the meeting. He was sitting all through the uh, the meetings, so it was very fruitful, and he has a clear cut understanding, being. Uh, Working as an employee of the central government himself earlier in Nehu, so I really appreciate that he has a very clear cut understanding about the plight of uh, you know how to improve, how to have a better facilities, so that you know the the Negrims can serve in terms of education, of medical education, and as a patient care, so that we will serve the people of this region in a better way. So I would like to thank uh, Dr. Ricky Sinkan for visiting us, and it's been a, he's been a very educated person, and being a teaching hospital, teaching institutions. I'm sure that this uh, <coughs> this visit of his will have a great impact, positive impact on Negrims and how we serve the people in terms of medical education and in terms of patient care, especially for the betterment of the of the, the, the Northeast. Yes, we before. Um, yes. Uh, that I would not comment on that actually because uh, they they must have uh, they must have visited also, but uh, he has come and especially wanted to speak to all sections of the organizations which he has done and so he has met all of them and so that you know that the much needed things like I N I status instead of national importance so that has been highlighted. Uh, so that this will be put up in the parliament, and especially in the uh, uh, <coughs> Central Protection Act of the healthcare workers has been also highlighted. So, so that this will be highlighted in the, uh, the the parliament to pass in the parliament as an act, so that the healthcare workers are being protected. So, I think these are the thing, the highlights which I have uh, listened to to, to different uh, demand which is being put forward by different. Associations of the institutions. So, what is the main benefit uh, if this institution is is tag along with us as a national important? No, as as you know, uh, this is a special act to be passed by the parliament. 
so that especially in terms of uh, medical education so that we actually now come under the ambit of the national medical commission which is a very stringent organizations which uh, in which uh, uh, which uh, we have a lot of things which we have to do like for example the for the for the upliftment of the of the institution especially the benefit which has been given to the the faculty and the staff so that we are in par with the uh, instead of national importance like aims pgi chandigarh jipmer and chichitra tirunal and nimhans you know these are the, earlier on because the grims was supposed to be and uh, set up by the central government uh, which has been set up uh, like aims like institutions but then when it comes to aims like it has not been passed by the parliament so we we are then then we came to, we have seen that we are not exactly like aims it's like aims like you know so there are a lot of benefits which we are not getting in terms of so that we are autonomous body in terms of 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 the uh, <coughs> things like it, because we are actually coming under mm, the university of the local university and also by the national medical commission so that we can start on our own without having to go through the stringent requirement of the national Com national uh, yeah, medical commission so that we can start all post graduate courses and all super specialty courses like what is happening in pgi or or aims or jipma so this is the benefit which uh, i think people will institute will get actually because as you know we have some shortcomings in the uh, in the place